Singapore is a maritime nation fundamentally without the sea there really wouldn't be a Singapore and a Singaporean way of life uh, as we know it. Day to day we probably had dinner um, many of you probably had rice yesterday. 99% of our rice comes by the sea. Something as simple as water. Producing water requires energy and the energy comes by oil, gas that ultimately is transported by the sea. Even something virtual like what we do on our handphones. We think that uh, connection is wireless over the air. But actually, the reality is that connection goes through high-speed fiber optic cables that run under the sea to allow you to do your shopping, connecting with your friends from all over the world. Singapore is a maritime nation that we need to be cognizant of the importance of this. If Singapore were to lose access to the sea, uh, we would be no different from any other landlocked country. We would be sea locked, like you said. The analogy is like that classic HDB Common Corridor. Now, the Common Corridor is for free use and shared use by everybody, and there's an implicit understanding. So if one party or one neighbor suddenly decides, oh, you know, I'm going to uh, make full use and take up the entire space, then that obviously impedes everybody passing through that common shared corridor. And the worst case is, another neighbour then decides to do exactly the same. And everybody decides to claim the sea or claim that space in front of that common corridor as their own. Then the real issue is that nobody can use that common corridor. That analogy is actually exactly what is happening uh, at sea. It's only by reinforcing these rules and norms that we will continue to have access as a small country, access to that shared common corridor that is critical to our economic survival and of course our day-to-day -day economic success. Now the responsibility is on us to pioneer the next wave of what the Navy is required to do going forward. Uh, just like in the early years there were constraints, but we use those constraints and turn them into Manpower and demographics is a critical challenge for us and we're investing significantly into unmanned capabilities. Can you imagine a fleet of unmanned boats being controlled by just one single uh, operator? We must make full use of the manpower that we have and therefore training our manpower to make sure that they contribute in a highly complex environment is critical. The Navy needs to continue to be at the forefront, to be relevant, be sharp, but at the same time, our people must have that mindset to push boundaries and to be pioneers of the, our generation. I think only then can we secure Singapore and our Singaporean way of life.